The generally accepted story of Hell's Gate Bridge starts in the 1950s. A young couple driving over the bridge somehow drove their car off the bridge one night and they both drowned. There are two legends associated with Hell's Gate Bridge 1, that if you drive your car out to the middle of the bridge and turn off the lights, the couple will magically appear in your car and leave the wet seat. The other, which is how the bridge got its name, is the belief that if you drive over the bridge and look over your shoulder halfway through, the scenery behind you turns into a portal engulfed in flames. Potentially to curb ghost hunters and bored teenagers, Hell's Gate Bridge is closed to cars, and it is in such disrepair that walking across is strongly discouraged. Everyone knows the story of the Bermuda Triangle, but you might not know about the Alaskan Triangle. On average, 5 out of every 1,000 people go missing in Alaska, according to the LA Times, so even if there's nothing supernatural going on, it's easy to get lost in the Alaskan wilderness. The Tlingit who lives in Juneau have their own explanation for the high number of missing people, evil spirits called the Kushtaka. The Kushtaka are shapeshifters, half men, half otter, who lure women and children to the water with fake cries in order to steal their human spirits and drown them. The story of Slaughterhouse Canyon also called the less frightening Luana's Canyon, takes place during the gold rush. During the 1800s, there was a family who lived in the canyon. They were very poor, so the father would venture out into the canyon for food for his family. As you might have guessed, one day the father did not return, so his family slowly starved and descended into madness. The mother, unable to bear listening to her children's cries anymore, put on her wedding dress, murdered her children and then threw them into the nearby river. The next day, she succumbed to starvation herself. The legend states that if you go down to the slaughterhouse canyon at night, even now, you will hear the loud, anguished cries of the mother who lost her mind, the Boggy Creek monster of Fkiz Arkansas version of Sasquatch. He's commonly accepted to be around 7 or 8 foot tall and covered in hair. Legend says that he roams the creeks of rural Arkansas. He was first spotted in 1834, when people reported seeing a wild man. People still claim to spot Boggy Creek Monster today, and he has been the subject of five feature-length films including The Legend of Boggy Creek. California, The Char Man The Char Man's origin story is gruesome, a father and son were both caught in a house fire and horribly burnt in 1948. After the fire, the son became so mentally unstable that he killed his father. When the police found the son, he was so unrecognizably burnt they didn't realize he was alive, so he ran away before they were able to arrest him for the murder of his father. The story goes that, ever since then, the char man can be spotted wandering the woods surrounding Ajar, occasionally approaching tents of innocent campers, or pretending to be a hitchhiker and then attempting to attack them. Riverdale Road is the site of not one, but eight creepy stories. Ranging from a Hell's Gate comma to ghosts of slaves hanging from the trees, the stretch of Reed is decidedly spooky. The creepiest story, though, is that of a phantom jogger. One day, there was a driver who hit a jogger, freaked out, and left him for dead. Now, it's said that if you park at the site of the crash, you'll hear disembodied footsteps getting closer and closer to your car. People have reported handprints on their windows and banging noises as if someone was kicking outside, known as the Wicked Witch of Monroe. Hannah Crana gained a reputation as a witch in the 19th century when her husband died by mysteriously falling of a cliff, and locals reportedly believed that she had bewitched him. People also believed that she would cast spells on people she didn't like. Hannah lived to the age of 77, but right before she died. She asked to be carried down to the cemetery in her coffin by foot, not wagon. After her death, the people of Monroe tried to wheel her coffin down the kill but were unable, the coffin kept falling off, so they were forced to carry it. When the townspeople returned to her home, it was found to be engulfed in flames, sealing Hannah's reputation of witchcraft. Now, you can visit her real grave in Trumbull, while not a particularly mean-spirited ghost. Samuel Chu's story is still disconcerting. Chu was the Chief Justice of the Delaware Supreme Court in 1741. As the story goes, while he was alive, 
he didn't always get the respect he deserved people frequently made fun of his name by mimicking sneezes while he walked by. After his death, people reported seeing his ghost sitting under a popular tree, wandering the courthouse, and generally creeping out the residents of Dover. Chu would also pull on men's coat trails and give women a cold, icy feeling. The phenomenon that happens at Spook Hill is real, cars that are parked in neutral will appear to roll uphill. Legend say the hill is either the site of a Native American burial ground or an epic battle of a Native American chief against a crocodile. But the truth is it's actually just an illusion created by the hill's surroundings. While parked cars appear to be rolling uphill, they are still just rolling downhill, at the bottom of Lake Lanier lies, almost, fully intact town, ferries, a racetrack, and multiple cemeteries. The Georgia government, in its determination to create Lake Lanier, brought up entire towns in order to clear the space for the lake after they received congressional approval in 1946. However, they just decided to let the water cover up the towns, rather than demolishing them. Now, Lake Lanier has a decidedly eerie feel about it. There have been an unusual number of freak accidents and deaths on the lake. In 2011, there has been 17 deaths alone. Many of the people who drowned have been recovered. People have reported feeling arms and legs in the water, but have not able to find them right after, leading to people to believe that spirits still rode the lake. Night marchers, according to Hawaiian lore, are not evil spirits, but they do demand respect. They are spirits of ancient Hawaiian warriors who marched around the islands to protect sacred areas. Legend says that if you look directly at a night marcher you will be marked for death. And, if by some chance, you find yourself in the middle of a procession, you are supposed to lie down in the middle of the road. Okay, guys thanks for watching, this is the end of part 1 of urban legends from every US state, stay tuned for part 2 in the future.